Yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Vusi Max back at you with another video. All right, I hope you guys are doing good. It's a Sunday, and before you get before you get into this video, I just wanna thank everybody who's watched the previous video. You know that one's been kind of going up in terms of the views and everything. So I just wanna thank you guys for doing that, and everybody who's new to the family, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed and this is your first time, listen, man, subscribe, 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 subscribe. All right. So go ahead and subscribe, like the video, comment and let me know what you think after you watch the video, alright? But wait, only only subscribe if you like my videos, right? Because if you don't like my videos, then you don't really have to subscribe, right? In it. Alright, fine. So you already know today is an analysis Sundays, right? It's analysis Sundays. But before we go into that, I just want to talk about something like real quick, right? So what I want to address is like listen i hear a lot of you guys are crying a lot of you guys are complaining you're saying pussy look like i don't know i don't know how to make the losses stop i just keep taking l's i just keep bouncing like i just keep zeroing out right so you start an account you start trading you start growing it maybe you're getting your gains are like not bad but you like you're seeing progress right and then it's, there's a time when like there comes a time where you take a massive l that kind of cancels out all the, the 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 gains you made during the week or like you know you you like sometimes man, i'm getting sometimes you guys are telling me that you guys have been trading for like a month or two man, and for that month or two you've been growing the account like and then just one time jay maybe you you you, you messed with your lot sizing or something and then you erased all of those profits that you made in like two months and you raised them like in a single trade or in one week or something and sometimes the the this this um scenarios where like you take a huge loss which doesn't cancel out everything you've made like in the past month but it cancels out maybe a week but it takes into this like cycle of wanting to recover that loss so you keep blowing even more and more until you've like basically eradicated your whole account in just less than a week or something like that right so i just want to tell you guys that look man don't take everything don't take like this whole trading thing personal right and i know it's it, it seems like i'm just saying because it's easy because at the end of the day like look we we are all investing real money into these markets right so there's no way that we can fully detach ourselves from these trades but you need to understand that especially when you're still learning you need to like give yourself the the opportunity like to learn from your mistakes right I almost say give yourself the opportunity to fail but like it, it, it's never nice to fail right but you need to learn from the mistakes that you learn from the mistakes that you make and if you don't make any mistakes that means you're like you're not gonna go anywhere with anything right so listen to all to all my beginners who are watching this right just before i drop the analysis because it's gonna be in the same video listen i didn't make it to this level where i'm at nah, i didn't i didn't become this great trader that i am today like the same day that i started to learn how to trade right so it took me like listen i don't know how many accounts i've blown right i don't know how many times i had to like take myself to sleep just because like i blew probably the, the my whole allowance that i had for that month and it wasn't even towards the middle of the month i've been there myself you understand so i all i want to say is for me I've, I've traveled this journey that you're now getting to walk get into like you know embark on or whatever and i just want to say that listen the only thing the only thing that got me to where i'm at today was the fact that i never stopped like even after i blew my whole allowance or whatever the next month guaranteed i was back in funding that account and i made sure that the mistakes i'm not like i made previously i wasn't gonna make them again right so it doesn't mean that automatically my account like i stopped blowing accounts of course maybe i blow an account again but but for a whole another different reason or a whole another different mistake so i've kept learning from all this type of mistakes and stuff like that so now i met this i'm at this level where now i can tell you when like i can tell you the price at where you should enter into a market and the price at where you should like exit that market for a profit of such and such and such depending on how much you have in your account so listen i'm with y'all right i'm with y'all i'm gonna i'm gonna keep making this content for you guys but i just wanted to put that message out that listen i've been where you are right now right i've been there so don't stop just subscribe and turn the turn the bell notification on because i'm gonna help you out of like that 
place where you're at right now. I'm going to take you to the next level. All right, so let's start with the analysis for today, ladies and gents. <laughs> So right off the bat, fam, I'm a, I'm a, we're gonna start with the USD ZA, right? So with the USD ZA, this one is a special one. I'm starting with it because all my Patreons or the people who are in the VIP signal group those are the people that got the signals right and then on friday i sent this signal also to the to the free like members in the in the in the free whatsapp group so you know check out the first pinned comment that's gonna lead you to the to the free whatsapp uh whatsapp group that i have it's a it's a it's a link so just tap on it if you want to receive this kind of signals and stuff like that but yeah what's going on here now with the usd is we've been in a downtrend We've been in a downtrend right and basically what that means is we want to catch the waves every time the market goes down right i don't want to find myself like going against the market if it's a downtrend i don't want to find myself going against the trend i don't want to find myself buying unless it's those like little trends like oh uh, uh, let me let me rather refer to them as trends within a trend right so in what i'm what i mean by that is you might find that there's a there's a trend in the smaller time frame that's different from the higher time frames right so the trends in the higher time frames are gonna last longer than the trends in the smaller time frames. So you gotta know when to get out if you're gonna take that route of trading those little those little trends within the trends, right? But basically if you wanna know more about that, you know, go subscribe to the signal group, man. Go join my Patreon and stuff like that. Be part of the VIP signals, then you're gonna get those kind of stuff, right? So basically what's going on? We got in we got in right. All right, so basically, let's look at this. We have this downtrend, and I've already done this analysis in a previous video, right? So in the previous video, you're going to, like, I don't know. I'm going to put the link in the description box to the video where I analyzed this pair, right? So basically, we was waiting for the for the, for the the price to break the, the reversal line because we had this reversal line there, and every time the market breaks the reversal line, you know the price is going to get into an impulse wave, and then there's going to be a whole lot of momentum, right? so what i'm seeing now in the daily time frame i'm just gonna zoom in a bit is the market closed below here right the market closed below here so we had a sell stop order somewhere at this level right now right and then the s the sl was at this uh, previous high of this engulfing candlestick the bearish engulfing candlestick which was already a selling signal by itself right but we got in a bit after the confirmation so we have two signs to enter this trade we have the bearish engulfing candlestick which is a uh, candlestick formation right and then we also had this candlestick close on the outside of this trend line which was a second confirmation according to trend lines and then now if you look at what's going on we have a it's a pin bar or some call it a hammer or whatever so it's also a candlestick formation which confirms that the price at some point the price was up to day right so at some point this candlestick was bullish this last daily candlestick was bullish but at the end of the day it closed bearish because there wasn't enough strength in the buyers so this is good this is an indication to show that in the next couple of days expect this pair to drop further than what it is and basically what we're looking at we're looking at this next support zone to kind of secure the profits and stuff like that right but depending on the strength of how this this market drops and stuff we might have to hold it further than that if we if we see like a whole lot of momentum and stuff i think i might just tell the people to remove the tps and just keep lowering the sl until we get to that point where eventually it hits the sl but we've made so much profit that you know it's all good so that's what's going on i'm gonna I'm go to the h4 so i can show you more of this chart so the reason i'm saying let's go to the h4 so i can show you more of this chart is because i also sent this to the to, to my public whatsapp group which is available to everybody like i said it's free so now the sl right we have the sl at this previous high there in the h4 
but then the market kind of retraced a little bit after the trade opened and then before we lowered the before we like we pushed further down in, in terms of price the market made this new high there right so it went from this high to this lower high right and then now what it means is that we're gonna lower our sl from there to there right so our sl was there now the sl is gonna be somewhere here right i'm gonna I'm update i'm gonna I'm send the whole like settings in the group of like move your sl from where to where and stuff like that i'm gonna send it in the group and what that means now is our trade now is a is very low risk understand so it's very low risk and basically we're looking to leave this trade as soon as possible should it go against us or whatever so i just want to keep everybody's account safe or whatever but look we're still gonna make a whole more than enough on this chart so i'm not i'm not even gonna talk any more about this chart because it's like everybody who's subscribed probably is, is already in this trade and eating right now all right let's go to the next chart so our next chart is gonna be the euro against the japanese yen the euro jpy right so with the euro jpy we had this like um uptrend on the h4 time frame we made contact with the trend line once twice three times four times and then we broke out of this chart now so this is a valid trend line this is a very valid trend line so now what we're gonna do because we need to isolate the price right we need to isolate the price i think we can draw a sub a resistance zone right so our resistance zone we're gonna draw it at this point it's gonna look somewhat like this so this is how our this is how we isolated the price right we have this uh support i mean resistance zone which price made contact with like one twice and three times right there so we made we've made more like this is a valid resistance zone right because you can't just draw any zone even if like it's there's nowhere on the chart where it's making contact with that with that zone right there so now this is what's mostly likely gonna happen right and i want you to stay ready for whenever that move happens right so now the price broke out to the downside but now it's pushing up right so what you're gonna do now i think we might retest the trend line right but already looking at the last candlestick which i'm gonna zoom in now this last candlestick shows that there isn't enough strength for the price to push up right so most likely what we're gonna do we're gonna have a sell stop at this zone right here so that when the price continues now with the downtrend because basically it's been in an uptrend but we look if if the price makes a lower high and that confirmation we're gonna get when the price starts to drop now and then we're gonna have our sell stop at the end of this week right there and should the price go according to what we're gonna say I'm gonna update you guys and let you know where to put your SLs and TPs and stuff like that. But this one is looking like a very simple chart because it is a simple chart, so it's gonna be easy money on this one. Just follow what I'm saying, right? Now let's go to the next chart. So now we're looking at the now we're looking at the NZD USD, right? So the New Zealand dollar against the US dollar. This one I've already analyzed, I think like three weeks ago or something. I'm probably gonna put the link to that below also so basically i've been telling you guys that we're waiting for the press to come and make contact with the trend line again which now it officially did and if you see in the past every time we make contact with the trend line a huge amount of selling off happens for the next couple of weeks so this is a weekly time frame so should we see confirmation then trust me like this one we're gonna sell off sell it off for like i don't know how many how many weeks how many months probably like you know it's gonna depend on the amount of strength that we get but should we continue with this formation then we're looking to, we're looking to eat ne? every time it goes down right so now let's go to the daily time frame so i can show you like what i'm talking about so in the daily time frame we're back at the trend line now and if you see the last two candles the last two daily thursday and friday's daily candlesticks are very indicative that there isn't enough buying power to break out of this um trend line and maybe start an uptrend or whatever so what we're gonna do now i'm just waiting for the next candlestick that's gonna be bearish and then we're going in because basically where it's at right now there's still a whole lot of chances for fake out happening because you see it's not indicated these two candlesticks aren't indicative of whether there is enough strength for the for this market to actually start pushing downwards but what is indicative of is that there isn't enough buying strength so maybe the pay might move sideways a bit here retrace a bit but listen what we're gonna do we're gonna wait until we start to see momentum actually kick in right and then 
basically with that i'm gonna i'm gonna be showing you guys in the in the whatsapp group like i'm saying what to do and stuff like that you know and basically with this one you don't need to worry you just need to like look at how it's analyzed because i think a selling off is about to show up right now so get your accounts ready get everything ready and then this pair once the momentum starts to show um and i'm looking forward to 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 that momentum picking in at least this week but you know at the same time we gotta be patient Let, let's just first see how monday's daily close is and that should show us more than enough right so let's go to our last chart fam so our last chart is back to the usd jpy i've been talking about this one for weeks now also but listen we still we still have the price isolated and we haven't had a breakout yet so probably this one we're gonna have to see at the end of the month right so that's all all right fam, so thank you guys for watching that's all i got for you on analysis sundays you know you know i'm coming through with the heat man so if you've been watching this video until now thanks for being awesome i appreciate y'all a lot and i was hoping this video wasn't gonna be this long but it's worth a watch man if you and if you like my video subscribe like comment i feel like i tell you guys this all the time so you know what you gotta do all right so i'm gonna see you guys in the next one peace out